Kenneth McDuff was an American serial killer who gained notoriety for his heinous crimes in the 1960s and 1990s. He was born on March 21, 1946, and died on November 17, 1998. McDuff's criminal history and the circumstances of his release from prison became a subject of public outrage and led to changes in Texas criminal justice policies. In the 1960s, McDuff was convicted of murder and sentenced to death for the brutal killings of three teenagers in Waco, Texas. However, in 1965, his death sentence was commuted to life imprisonment when the U.S. Supreme Court temporarily halted the use of the death penalty. While serving his life sentence, McDuff continued to display violent behavior and was involved in multiple escape attempts. In 1989, he was released from prison due to overcrowding and parole board decisions that were controversial and criticized later. Soon after his release, McDuff resumed his criminal activities and embarked on a new killing spree that claimed the lives of at least nine more people, including women he abducted, raped, and murdered. The extent of McDuff's new crimes led to widespread public outrage and a nationwide manhunt. He was eventually captured in 1992, tried, and sentenced to death. His execution took place on November 17, 1998. The case of Kenneth McDuff highlighted flaws in the criminal justice system, particularly in the handling of violent offenders and the decision-making process related to parole and release. It played a role in prompting changes in Texas laws and policies regarding parole and sentencing, as well as discussions about the effectiveness of the death penalty as a deterrent to heinous crimes.